Hey guys, so today I have this look for you guys. I feel like it's such a piercing look. And by piercing, I mean like if someone's looking at you and you have this makeup on, they're like, ooh, those eyes are so beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I love this look so much. I wanted to create something that was really intense, a really nice statement eye look and just forget about the lips and just concentrate on the eyes and make them really intense and smoky and colorful and have the center of the halo really pop and be bright. So that is what I came up with for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you guys want to stick around and see how I got it, then just keep on watching. The first shadow I'm going into is Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Sand Dollar. With my Sigma E40 Taper Blending Brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease. And I like to apply a transition shade underneath a gray shadow because sometimes I feel like gray shadows tend to be either difficult to blend or kind of patchy. And this really helps it out by having a transition shade on the bottom. I'm now picking up Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Stealth. Switching over to my E38 Diffuse Crease Brush by Sigma, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease, but I'm using a really light hand because I don't want it to get really patchy, so I'm just lightly mapping out where I want the shadow to be, and then I'm using Windshield Wiper Motions to just keep applying that shadow back and forth, and then I'll start doing circular motions to start further blending that out on this outer corner. To add a slight bit of darkness, I'm picking up Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Corrupt. I'm picking up a really, really small amount of this black shadow on the same E38 Diffuse Crease Brush by Sigma, and I'm going to start running that through the crease. I just want to add a slight bit of darkness just so it matches the lid shadow. And once again, just keep blending that in. Then going back into Sand Dollar just to really diffuse everything out and make sure everything is nicely blended. Now for my lid, I'm picking up Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Sorcery. Now with my Sigma E58 Cream Color Brush, I'm going to start lightly packing on, well not lightly, just keep packing on this shadow on my outer corner and then the inner corner, making sure to leave the center empty because we are going to be applying another pigment with a shadow over top. Now really quickly before I finish off the top, I'm just going to start doing the bottom. So I'm picking up Sand Dollar first and just running that along my entire lash line with my Sigma E54 Medium Super Brush. Then picking up Stealth, I'm just going to do this on the outer corner and inner corner. And then with a really small amount of Corrupt, again just on the outer corner and inner corner, we're going to be creating the same halo effect that's on the top on my lower lash line. Now picking up Sorcery Foiled Pigment by Makeup Geek again, I'm picking that up with my Sigma E58 Cream Color Brush, why am I talking so slow, <laughs> and applying that on the outer corner and inner corner. I'm picking up the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in Rager, so now I'm going to start tapping this pigment right in the center of this eye, <laughs> my lid, and I'm just going to keep tapping that back and forth, and the more that you tap, the more that it starts blending out and blends in between that sorcery shadow and this pigment. Now I'm picking up this pigment on this E21 smudge brush by Sigma, and I'm going to start patting this right in the center of my lower lash line. Just keep tapping back and forth, same as the top lid. Now going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit, I'm picking up Orion, and then I'm tapping this highlighter right on top of that milk pigment. That's just going to really nicely enhance that blue and just make it look extra popping. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it, look, it just highlights it so beautifully. To line my waterline, I'm using the SD Edit Inside Track Eye Cajal in Navy Brat and Baby Blue. Now I'm going to take the baby blue side of this liner and just apply this right in the center where that light blue shadow is. And then flip it over and take the navy brat side and apply that on the outer corner and inner corner. And then you can just go back in with the baby blue and just lightly blend the two liners together. Going into my favorite brow bone highlight, I'm picking up Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Mirage. And lastly, before I forget, I almost forgot this, just to highlight the brow bone, I think that's really important when you do a look like this. I think it's always important, but especially when you do a gray, you don't want it to be gray up to your brow bone. I'm using the Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush. I'm now going to apply some mascara and falsies, and the lashes I'm using today are these Lashalicious Lashes by Farrah Pro Makeup in Featherlicious. And that's the eye look done. Okay, so now moving on to my lips. I am 100% going to keep them nude, even though I have done and still love and will continue to do dramatic eyes with bold lips. But I feel like because these eyes are just so beautiful and like, that pop of blue is just such a statement to me, so I feel like I want to keep them that way and just keep all the concentration on my eyes and just keep my lips nude and 
nobody needs to pay attention to them anyway. So I'm going to go in today to this, obviously I use this all the time, the Makeup Geek Cream Stain in do, -Do. Love this. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. Obviously, where else? And that is it. This is the completed look of my blue-gray halo smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm obsessed with how bright the blue in the center of the eyelid and the bottom is. It looks so pretty. I was actually going to pop on some silver glitter, but then I was like, you know what? I really want that blue to shine and not have anything take away from it. So I didn't, and I left it like this. So you could definitely put on like a little bit of reflect or glitter over top, and it would be like amazing, but... I didn't. I was like, I feel like I'm already going a little too much. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, they'll be right here as well as down the description box. And also a list of all the products along with brushes will be linked down below in the description box as usual. And that should be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.